Sami Jemfi is the National Communications Officer of the party. Mr. Jemfi, welcome to Eyewitness News. Thanks for having me, Sandra. First of all, how is your case in court proceeding? So far, so good. We are on track. There's been a few hurdles, but uh, that is part of um, litigation, particularly in criminal matters. And so uh, the legal team of Honorable Kwesin uh, are very focused on this matter and doing everything possible to vindicate the innocence of Honorable James Jachi Kwesin. And uh, as we have indicated on public record, the re-elected MP enjoys the full support of the entire rank and file of the NDC, its leadership, and are uh, able to 137 members of parliament. This decision to boycott the house, is it a directive from your Adabraka head office? And if that's the case, is it specifically related to James Jachikwesi or is for the two other MPs as well? Um, first of all, the decision by the NDC minority caucus to boycott parliamentary proceedings anytime, um, they are colleagues um, I have to appear before uh, courts of competent jurisdiction uh, for their prosecution uh, was a decision that was made or taken by the caucus itself. It is not a directive from the leadership of the party. The caucus met, um, as we have been informed, to discuss what its response should be by the glaring attempts by the Ekufu Adobawumia government to reduce their numbers in the House through frivolous, you know, criminal persecutions and um, to which and key members of the caucus. And it was after those discussions that the caucus decided un un unanimously to resort to boycotts, to protest the persecution of their colleagues by this um, despotic Kufu Adobawomia government. And so that is a decision which was taken by the caucus. It was not an imposition from the party. But, but you, at all. You, you support it as a party? Of course, yes. Our national chairman, our general secretary, and in fact, the entire leadership of the National Democratic Congress uh, have thrown our weight behind that decision because we think it is uh, a great decision uh, okay. that is worth supporting. What do you and, make of uh, Just to answer the second leg of your question, the boycott does not only relate to the prosecution of Honorable James Achikwesi in the MP for Asenov, but also applies to the persecution of no less a person than the leader of the NDC Minority Caucus, Honorable Atoforse, and um, the persecution of Honorable Colin Dauda as well. All right. Now, and, and this is my last issue. The majority whip has said what you are doing, if you intended to frustrate government, then you must be mistaken because you are also frustrating private business. If the road in your village were to be constructed because something has to be done in parliament for an agreement to be adopted, that agreement will not come to fruition because your colleagues or your, you have decided that you will not go to parliament. I'm, I'm using you to mean NDC. What do you make of that, that you are you are shooting yourselves in the foot? Well, he's entitled to his opinion, and uh, NDC members of parliament are also entitled to theirs, and to take um, democratic steps within the, um, I mean, permissible under our parliamentary, you know, system. Um, and, and so we totally disagree with that because our members of parliament only resort to boycotts on dates or days that their colleagues have to appear before the courts. And they say, we will not allow our, co our colleagues to face this persecution uh, all by themselves. We will be in court to solidarize with them, and that is what they have been doing. Um, justice is important, um, and it is as important as development. But even uh, to scrutinize or if you like analyze what the majority chief which said 
these boycotts, like I said, are only resorted to by the NDC minority caucus as and when their colleagues have to appear before courts. On days where there are, when there are no court proceedings, they are always present to, uh, in parliament to do their work as members of parliament. And so if government has any um, 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 policy proposals uh, relative to the construction of rules and other developmental projects as the majority whip, you know, alluded to, there wouldn't be any problem at all because the members of parliament, uh, our members of parliament are always in parliament on any other day to ensure that such uh, louder bowl initiatives are approved. So this would continue, Aluta continues essentially, even though there's, there's a concern that they are flouting parliamentary rules by continually being absent. If that number of absent so how, days, well, well, I mean, flouting parliamentary rules, how that if they fail to be in the chamber for a number of days, they they lose their seats. You are not you are not scared. Why of are they cry more than they believe? They they think we don't know of that. We are very much aware of that, and uh, I, they they should be happy that we are taking this risk. I don't know why they are worried that <laughs> NDC members of parliament are likely to. Um, 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 to be absent from parliament for 15 continuous days and therefore stand the risk of losing their seats. They should leave us to worry Mm -hmm. about that. Uh, As to whether or not this strategy will continue um, is something that is a decision that lies entirely in the bosom of the leadership of the caucus. Um, We are fighting an oppressor who is hell-bent on destroying our democracy reducing our numbers in parliament, persecuting and suppressing dissent, harassing political opponents, and so on. And as um, Minority Chief Whip in a press statement today indicated, all options are now on the table, and we are committed to supporting our minority caucus as a party to do everything legitimate to ensure that the rights of these members of parliament who are being harassed and persecuted are defended and protected and to ensure that justice prevails at the end of the day. And so we are leaving those stone on tent. Uh, these stress of members of parliament losing their seats as a 15 continuous days, I mean, the, these stress don't move us mm. at all okay. because what we are doing is in the interest of our constitution, it is in the interest of our democracy. We are mindful of all these legal issues, and you can be rest assured that we will never get to that stage. All right. But the, it is not for us to uh, disclose or divulge our strategy related to some of these issues they are raising okay. in the media. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Amir Jemfi is National Communications Officer of the NDC.